Welcome YouTubers, Crisco 1969A for his part nine of his DVD collection. The following movie <coughs> is a must for any Bruce Campbell fan. If you don't got this movie in your collection and you claim you're a Bruce Campbell fan and you're not going to get this movie, get rid of your Bruce Campbell collection because you're not a Bruce Campbell fan. This just came out few years ago on DVD. Region 1, I don't know about the other regions people, but I know this is out in Region 1, through Lionsgate, Sundown, The Vampire and Retreat. <coughs> and it also stars the late great David Carradine. See it, love it. Bruce Campbell in all his goodness. Playing the iconic character of Van Helsing, that's right. Bruce Campbell as Van Helsing. It's a good uh, zombie movie. Not in your traditional zombie movie. Uncle Sam. I want you dead. I want you dead. That's right. Awesome movie. I love it. Like I said, it's not your traditional zombie movie. Very good though. This is a double feature, very good. It's fear and parents. Should we ever get this cheap? I did. I got this for like six bucks. A giant tiger. I shop. I go there a lot to look at DVDs because sometimes you get shit like this. And another one I bought because of Sid Hag. Now it's the only reason I bought it. It is not that great. But if you're a fan of Sid Haig, should have Brotherhood of Blood. That's right, the Brotherhood of Blood. Another zombie movie, and it's a low-budget zombie movie through uh, Brain Damage Films. It's Awaken the Dead. Brain Damage Films are okay. They're, they are what they are. Ah, uh, next film Tom, uh, stars Tom Sizemore, and it's filmed in my hometown of Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. It's Bottom Feeder. Very fun movie. Very, very fun movie. There's a Lucio Fucci classic, in my opinion. I enjoy Lucio Fucci movies. And this is the edition, this is the Severin edition of the movie. It's the first, it's available first time uncut in America. The Psychic. Another movie I have, uh, my friend, uh, fellow YouTuber, Brad Ween. That's right, Brad Ween. Picked this up on Blu-ray just recently for eight bucks at Future Shop, but I already have the standard DVD of it, and it's Jacob's Ladder. It's an enjoyable movie. I'm not as big as fan as he was of it, but I got it for five bucks, and I saw it at the theater when it came out. Um, next is the three disc exclusive edition of Poultry Guys: Night of the Chicken Dead, released by Lloyd Kaufman and Troma. Awesome movie. This was the type of movie trauma should be releasing. Right? Like this is what independent cinema should be all about. All about fun. And this is a very fun movie. Another trauma release. Another half decent movie. Body parts. And I got the new. I have the older uh, box set of. Uh, 
this movie, but I just picked up the new one too, because like, I like the look of it. I'll show you another video. It's the Complete Toxic Avenger box set. I have the old one too, but it only comes with the first three movies, and you had to buy part four. I wish that they would come out with more of the cartoon series on DVD. I love the cartoon series that aired on Fox mornings a long time ago. Which now cartoons are all fucking retarded nowadays on Saturday morning. We have to share and care. Or it's it's just more blatant to sell products than the, the He-Man ones. Like the Pokemon and the freaking... I got the Pokemon cards. I know I'm kind of rambling, but... Saturday, mar Saturday morning cartoons are retarded now. There's another... Um, trauma release. Scarlet Moon. It's not a bad movie. It is what it is. It's a trauma release. And it's too bad movies like uh, movies like Twilight and um, said that CW show um, Vampire Diaries are killing vampires for me. There's a movie Christian Gore Lewis makes a disappearance and David Hess is in it. Smash cut. Quite enjoyed this movie. Throwback to the old Hirsch and Golden Lewis style of uh, gore. Enjoyed it. Here's a movie I got. It's the South Korean edition. It's the hist. I think it means the hist. It's in like French or history of all. Quite enjoyed this movie. But it says it comes. It's there's a lot. There's a very little of it is in English. The rest of it's in Korean. And it's um. And it's N S N N N T S C, which is weird for a South Korean release. All region N T S C all region release. Um, next movie I picked up a sh at a store called Giant Tiger, and it's for Buck. For Buck, I got this a Giant Tiger Fiend, and I'm pretty sure this is out of print. Another movie I got it's a cult movie, really good, really fun. Weasels rip my flesh. It's the same underline the cult collection as uh, Long Island Cannibal Long Long Island Cannibal Massacre. Another good movie. Pieces. I have, I'm going to show you another copy. I got pieces. I got a um, European release, a budget release from Europe, a long time ago. This is the Grindhouse releasing of it. This movie is awesome. I used to watch this movie all the time on uh, VHS. Another movie. French movie. Inside. Really enjoy this movie a lot. And if you have not seen this movie and you're a zombie fan, what are you doing? Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? You're not watching zombie movies and say you're a true zombie fan. City of Rot. The animation in this is phenomenal. It has lots of gore, good humor, everything. It's released by Unearth Films, and I'll show you the second movie in this series in another video. Death Fury. That's right. City of Rot. City of Rot. Pick this up, people. It's a must. Well, Crisco1969 saying, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm up to my 10 minutes. Thanks.